Hey everyone, Matthias here. I figured I'd switch it up and go to a ranked draft. Still the same thing, but War of the Spark. It's a new one that I haven't tried. And the cards are limited here, so I could get some decent cards. And yeah, I won't be able to get them again. So this this episode's just going to be about me making my deck, and then the next ones will be me going into it and trying to win here. Hope I haven't had any luck. I'm hoping I can do better this time. All right, let's see. Okay, so we got a planeswalker, Vivian. I heard she's pretty good. May cast creature spells as though they had flash, which is also really wicked. Till your next turn, up to one creature gains vigilance in reach. Look at the top three cards of your library. Exile one face down. Put the rest on the bottom of your library in any order. For as long as it remains exiled, you may look at that card, you may cast it if it's a creature card. So, I'm looking at all these green cards and they seem really powerful. And it's probably not too bad to have her in there too. A Johnny's not bad. Whenever you gain life, you put a counter on this guy. You got your death sprout. Destroy target creatures, search your library for a basic land card. I could go green. Yeah, maybe green and swamp. It's a pretty big griffin card. Bound of insight. Each player puts top four cards of their libraries into the graveyard. Return up to two instants of sorcery cards from your graveyard to your hand. That could be pretty deadly too. Chant creature and chant creature loses all abilities and has a base power. Oh yeah, that that could be a good card to have. Return target creature from the graveyard to your hand. Return target planeswalker card from the graveyard to your hand. So I can always get her back. I'm gonna try and get this card. And combo with this card. And then get some strong cards here. Alright. Wild animals I like. People, not so much. A vehicle? Whenever silent submersible deals combat damage to a player or planeswalker, draw a card. Vehicles are pretty deadly, but I'm not very good with them. She costs a lot, why? Each creature you control that's a wolf or werewolf enters the battlefield with additional counter on it. Okay. I don't think I really need that card in my deck though. By the time I get it out there, I won't be able to play it. I probably already, if I had any wolves, I'd be playing all my wolves already before I got the card. He says Triumph, search your library for up to two basic forest cards. If you control Nisa Planeswalker, instead search your library up for three lands. But this is a pretty good card to get some mana. Lately I've been having trouble getting mana. If I lose a lot of my matches, I only get three and then it'll be bad. Uh, scry four and draw two cards. That gives you a good, a really good advantage. Swords Thirst and then we gain two life. That's good. I'm, I was thinking about going uh, Forest and Swamp. Whenever you cast a non-creature spell, Burning Prophet gets that. Uh, plus one, plus zero until the end of turns, and Scrying. Scrying's powerful. As long as it's your turn, on crop invader has first strike, sacrifice another creature, okay. And you get a plus two, plus zero. Nothing here is really uh, screaming out, choose me, except for this card. Return target creature from the gamer to your hand. It's a really cheap card for a 2 3, but it enters the battlefield tap. If it's still around, I'll choose it, but right now I'm gonna get some forest here. Morale's Outburst it deals 3 damage to any target. Look at the top two cards of your library, put one of them into your hand, another into the graveyard. 
not bad. Bond of Passion. Gain control of target creature until the end of turn. On top of that creature, it gains haste. Bond of Damage deals 2 damage to any other target. That costs 6. Exile creatures and periphery. There seems to be a lot of slow spells. That could be alright. What's this guy do? Whenever a creature with power of 4 or greater enters the battlefield under your control, put a thing. That could be a good card. Guild Globe enters the battlefield, draw a card, sacrifice, add 2 mana of different colors. When this enters the battlefield, you gain 3 life, add mana, so that's a ramping card. 2 card deals damage and power to another creature. That could be deadly too. It's not a bad card. I like this card for its ramping ability, but it costs 4 mana to get there. You know what? I'll still choose it. Maybe I'll just go all green. Who knows? 7 6 for. That's a pretty good card, but we'll go back to that. Enters the battlefield, put a target or peripherate. So, proliferate. Choose any number of permanents and or players, then give each another counter. So, basically, I have to have lots of counters on this. Whenever a land enters the battlefield under your control, periphery. So if I go counters, start periphery. See this spell copy card countered, target non creature spell, that's hilarious. What's this do? It's a Healy's Silverwing enters the battlefield. Look at the top card of the opponent's library. Oh, that's okay, I guess. Maybe I'll get a lot of these druids and then I'll start trying to do the pro proliferate ability. Nothing else here is screaming, choose me. So we'll go with that. Sacrifice creature or planeswalker, you gain one life draw card. Every player discards two cards. Mm. Target opponent sacrifices a creature. I just attacked you can, if you control Gideon Flameswalker. I don't know if I can get one though. That'd be cool. I'm still gonna just stick with green. Put a counter on eat on target creature, then proliferate. That will combo well with some of the cards I have. I better read some of these other ones though. Um This could help with the proliferate ability. Whenever makeshift battalion and at least two other creatures attack, put a counter on it, but I need lots of creatures for that. Counter target spell unless its controller pays two, a mass two. That's pretty cool. I'm gonna choose this one. This lets me play multiple manas, which is an bad and it has reach which is that creature steady aim untap target creature it gains that in reach that could be helpful in certain situations nothing else here is really yelling awesome I'll grab this. Life link in haste. That's actually a really deadly creature. 
the minutes when enters the battlefield put a target on target creature that could help me with the proliferate but I'll choose that and I don't really have any cards here but should make sure maybe go blue because that seems to have the proliferate ability too I was gonna go with So blue and swamp, so I'm gonna pick those two. I don't know if I'm gonna go red or not. They now have a lot of high cost in mana though. Wall of runes is always good to have. So I'll target permanent control, return that to the battlefield and there's Control, you know, this is the battlefield this creature. That card I've seen do pretty dangerous things. Alright, let's see what we have here. So I have another one of these. Each creature you control with a plus one plus one counter, add one mana of any kind. Honestly, I'll have to go with that one. That's a pretty deadly spell. Target creature gets minus five, minus five for only three. Let's see what this is. Another vehicle. Whenever you cast a non creature spell, the museum tank becomes an artifact creature and gets plus one, plus one. So instead of crewing the vehicle, you just play any type of like spell and then they will turn into a 4-3 and you won't have to tap a creature to uh, play it which is pretty deadly I want to choose this guy though it's a dog eat villain world out there okay let's try any number of targets plan waskers What's this? Sacrifice this, you may cast spells this turn as if they had flash. I may choose this card. Trample and Vigilance. If one or more counters would be put on Mulu, Loyal Companion, that many plus one counters I put on instead. Well, how can I say no to that? <laughs> I wanna look at these though. This is Battlefield, draw a card. One mana geode enters the battlefield scry, add one mana of any color. That's a pretty good card. I might have to go back and choose that if it's still there, but this card seems to be yelling mad. I'll probably have to start getting uh, these big creatures here. This card gives me any man of any color which is nice so I'll probably choose that one this has the proliferate but it's just too much Sahili sublime artificer not right card I guess I should get some power out here so I'll probably probably choose this card Thundering, Ceratok enters the battlefield, other creatures you control gain trample. Okay. Whenever you cast a planeswalker spell, you gain one life, add one mana, tap two mana of different colors on planeswalker spells. Well, I don't have very many planeswalker spells, but I kind of do. Each creature you control assigns combat damage equals to its toughness rather than its power. Gain life equal to the greatest toughness. Not a bad card. Might have to go with this land though. 
I'll do that. Hexproof is always a nice ability. I only have a few creatures that are that strong. Choose this one. I'm just gonna try and go in all green. I haven't tried a mono color yet. <coughs> Tap target creature against that. Oh, with this guy. This sucks here. So I can put a counter there and the gain for first strike. I'll go with that card. Could be dangerous. Any type of lands can be good. Sorta. Destroy target artifact and land. Counter target creature planeswalker spell. If that spells counter this way, exile it instead. Proliferate. So. Yeah, none of these. I don't really want them, but I don't have a choice. All right, let's see what I get here. Another Arlen, but I don't have very much wolves. I have a hound, if that counts. That card is pretty decent, but I'm not very good with it. Most combat but damage to a player, proliferate. That could be an alright spell to help me. I don't have reach. We have another one of these. I won't get another rare card, which sucks. I could have get one of those. Gives me some rampant power. Hey there. Let me know if you find any cool new plants. Features of control have haste. I'm using blue. I mean, I'm using forest, so I don't really need any red mana to play this card. It could be pretty useful to have that. Initiate, you are not worthy. What type of target problem? I do have some strong creatures. Enter the battlefield, put a one one counter. Enchanted land has two. That's a pretty good card. I feel like you can't go wrong with planeswalkers, but. Probably can. Do I have any good tap spells? What do we do with this? Sacrifice a creature, search a library for a creature with converted mana. mana. Additional plus one counter. Okay. Search a library for a creature card with converted mana cost equal to 1 plus sacrifice creatures converted mana to a card into the battlefield with additional 1 1 counter on it and shuffle the battle. That's pretty cool. Let's This kind of scares me because I'm running out of uh, green creatures. Let's 
ton of fish. Get a blue blue wizard. How many blue cards do I have? Not very much. Do I go with the spider? Or do I switch over to blue right away? Oh, I'm sick of the spider. And this card. Oh wow. Well. Enter the battlefield. to go blue also. That's his battlefield in the top three cards of the library. Reveal an instant or sorcery among them. Put into your hand put the rest in the bottom of your library. I guess I gotta go Neo for him now. Just in case I do go blue. Okay. So these cards are going to help me play land. And they have reach. I don't know if I really need those. I kind of want to go proliferate. Get these guys out here. I know this card's deadly. It gives me more ramping power. I'll go down to the bottom. I'll get one of those. Wait, I'm taking these cards out. Whoops. I always do that. Okay, let's do this again. Oh well. Okay, we'll take that out for now. I just want all my green creatures. I don't know if I need those. See what we have here. So here's my strong creatures. One more green card, and not just do that. Make a pure green deck. See, this deal form might seem useless, but I do have some cards in here that actually uh, count as any type of mana. Like uh, this druid. Maybe there's only a few cards. This one. I think I have ways of getting them out there too. This person counts as any. I don't gotta really worry too much because maybe I, I'll play it, and if it doesn't pan out, I guess then there's not much a uh, much else I can do. So seven six, I'll keep one of those. These are hex proof. I kinda wanna keep all these cards to see if it does work out.
I don't know if I want this, but it is a 1 3. Okay, we'll go some land. Go forest. So, average is 3.0. A lot of my spells are here. So I have 14 creatures and 13 non creatures. It says I have a fire spell in there? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to try running 20 lands. Hopefully, I can. So, 7 plus 10, so one more land, so there, I got 20 there, and then, hmm, now hopefully I don't get flooded with land, but like I said, a lot of times I have trouble even getting land. This could be the worst deck in the world, usually is, kind of rushed it. <laughs> Oh well. So there we have it there. That's me making my deck. Next episode I will actually play it. Okay, thanks for watching. Have a good Whoops, cut out there. Thanks for watching. Have a good one and peace.